Hello everyone, welcome back to channel Codex. My name is Afzal and today we'll see how to do animation in Flutter. We'll create something similar to this. A nice little pumping heart. And I got this idea from WhatsApp where they have this nice animation. Okay, let's jump into the code. Okay, so our project is up and running. This is a basic template of uh, Flutter. So we'll start uh, with our UI. We don't want this column. Let's quickly add the asset folder here. directory we'll have to update the yaml file okay now our asset is referring to this asset folder see and we got the heart image so let's create animation controller which will control the animation behavior and animation itself now we'll be animating on the scale property of heart so that's why I have used double let's initialize this in init method All right. To fix this vsync issue, our state has to implement ticker provider state mixing. Either you can use a single ticker provider or state mixing if you are using a multiple animation or multiple animation controller. Let's uh, initialize animation with animation controller. will start the animation from here so animation controller dot forward forward is the key used to start the animation so we'll have to attach this animation to our image so now let's use a scale transition and scale property will provide an animation value okay the translation let's hot reload this project see so on init method we got our animation let's see one more time okay our animation is working so instead of animating on initialize state let's move it on button click so our next task is to loop this animation so basically what is happening now on click of the button this heart is growing now we have to loop the animation for that what we'll do we'll put a listener on our animation we will check if status is completed then we will reverse it else if status is 
dismissed then we'll have to start the animation again okay my bad let's see how it's working in uh, simulator so when i click play this heart is growing shrinking growing shrinking okay fine so this is what we wanted to achieve but uh, apart from this like this animation is very basic uh, if you want to achieve something more like curvy animation easy ease bouncing for that what we can do instead of providing this animate animation controller directly we can use our curve animation and use a parent animation controller And we can provide curve as easy in. Now let's see. Still, I see the duration is too much. Let's move it to milliseconds. Now we have actual heartbeat and to make it play pause it's very easy like a simple we use a boolean is playing if is playing else so if it's playing we'll stop it and if it's not playing forward forward is used as a start okay by default is playing will be false and when we click this button it will change its value is playing equal to not is playing let's wrap this in set state method all right and here so now let's check when I click play our heart grows started playing and when I say pause it stops let's check the same in iOS quickly when I say play starts pumping and you can say pause stops thank you guys for watching so maybe in my next tutorial i'll try to achieve uh, uh, multiple animation on the same object and animation with the staging on the same object that's it for this video see you next time